Now we'll be looking at something called the Naya tally. So how the exact operations will work. So uh, first of all, we will look into the data entry operation. Right. So I suppose I pick it up on 2nd July 1163. I go here, I go here, I go here, I go here, yeah, yeah. And I pick up, say, 987. It's coming here, voucher enter here. Yeah, yeah. I pick it up. This thing is done. And I accept it. The moment I accept it, it will go real time into the database. Once it goes real time into the database, then I'll after that, I'll enter the next voucher. And and then it will come back into tally. Right. So about, suppose if I go here, I look at my day book here. So my day book is 1164. So 987, 1164. And uh, this thing is there, right? But it is going to happen real time. But I'll now go to my real time tally. And my first, my day book will open on the last date, which is the SP2 date, which is going to be there, right? It will open on that particular date and it will connect with the uh, database accordingly. So let this data day book open. And as you can see, that 1164987 has come up along with it. So now, this entry which has come in along with the bill and so forth is actually pivot friendly. So this is your day book here, which is not pivot friendly, which comes out first, but this has come out as pivot friendly and you can work with unlimited data. Now, well, now the speed is what will actually I'll be looking at is, so I'll go down to this day book here and this day book will open. And as you change in your normal day book, we will change the dates here also. Right, and then see how much time does it take. So now this day book is opening. So each time, unfortunately, it goes and refreshes. That's how we have made it. And I make it as say 1, 11, 20, 23 to 2, 7, 20, 24. Right, suppose I want to do it this way. Right, I pick it up. So I don't have 2, 7, 20, 24, right? I go here and I put on the timer here. And I say start. Okay. And as soon as I say start, I say press enter. Now I want to see for this four months time, how much time does it take for my tally to actually, you know, um, bring out the data. So this data is coming in, right? So this is this is actually a slightly huge data. So we have just deliberately taken uh, this much, uh, this thing. So let's see how much time does it take. So 49,600 rows have taken them, what, 30 seconds, right? Then what we would do is, and here you get all the details which are there. So whatever way you get it, you know, and you can even go down to the voucher from here. We have made arrangements that you can go down to the voucher here, right? Now what happens is I'll go back here and test how much time does tally take, right? So I go down here, day book, and I pick up the same date range. One. 11, 2023 to 2, 7, 2024. And the moment I start, time starts. So mm -hmm. let me assume that I've got 10 seconds more. Let's see how much time does it take. So ours has taken 30 seconds for getting 49,000 rows. This will give you a ledger snapshot, right? So now the initial ledger snapshot will take how much time. And so that what let me just check here. There it goes. So this, the snapshot has taken about close to 54 seconds, but this is not my complete. So I have to go and configure it again. Say yes here, I have to say detailed. Yes here, yes here. I have not shown the mode of payment, so I will not include these details here right now, but I will add it to the single day book here, right? Timer, and then enter, enter. And let the process begin. So it's taken about, uh, you know, um, just in, let's see how much time does this take? 16 seconds. So 
So what basically the benefit is going to be that once you save the time on daybook and once you, so once you use my collections, so tally partners, if you use my collections, your processing would be faster, All right? You're able to handle say one lakh rows or two lakh rows within say 15 or 20 seconds. Then your customer, so over this, if you build up intuitive applications or, or then over the standard collections, then ours is better. And you will be able to handle sales, purchase, cash, everything from a single collection. Let's see how much time does this take. Let it come, let it come, let it come. Right. In the meantime, because I cannot move out of here. It is a recorded session. It's a timer. So let's just see how much time does it take. You see this actually currently more than two and a half minutes has happened, but tally is still not open. So this is the power of, you know, the our new collections, the NEA tally, which we have brought up. That with large databases, your tally will not hang. This is a typical problem which is faced by customers daily, right? And that is why they sync up all their data with external apps. So I have to get the data verified. What is external app doing? It is actually taking all your data and then putting a copy of the data onto your machine. Right. So let this thing continue. Just one second. So this is tally is, you know, is not taking more time. It's going on and on and on. If it crosses the five minute gap, then we'll stop it because we have been able to get it at 10K, right? Now, the other problem is that if the process stops, then if I refresh it with a different date time, then, uh, you know, I think we have to restart the tally because if I stop this process of tally, but here you see these are thousands of objects which are actually being picked up. I really hope that this comes through. It's actually got stuck. So the, for the purpose of this demo, we cannot let this go through, right? So what we would do is we would close this program, Papa. right? Papa. And then I will go, then I'll go here, I'll find, and I'll open it. And this time I will try it with a different Papa. date range. Then come here. Let me see with the Naya tally. Can I open up with some other date range with ease? Right. Once that process of daybook refreshes, crushed. Okay. So I stop. So I stop it here. Okay, I can. I think I can do it. Let me try it with one, ten, twenty, twenty-three, and I can. Can I pull this off? So the limitation here is not at the database end. The limitation is whether the tally RAM is going to be able to pick it up. So okay. here we have made a single collection and we are filtering it. So that's how the whole process is taking place. So pick up the timer here and just. 
approximately add some content. Let's see. Yeah. 